Hey guys, what's up? <laughs> We're back on the vlog. Ah. It's been a hot minute. The last time I did this was the last time we were at a race because I've been way too busy to share anything about my life. But now I'm not busy anymore. Can't see a seatbelt. Can't see out my windscreen. Yeah, the vision is pretty poor. Anyway, welcome along to the next three weeks of racing. Ludon Viel, and then I'm going to Switzerland to visit some friends, and then back to France for Chateau. Liam's kindly taking me to the airport. Again. I'm going to give him a tenner like last time when he's going to be raging. <laughs> yeah, it costs four quid to go into the airport. <laughs> oh well. <laughs> Got a travel day on, on the go. Polly's picking me up with her dad. Team TVB is going to be in full swing because Jake's staying with us this time. Uh, yeah. Thanks for tuning in, guys. Cheers, guys. Bye, guys. Bye, guys. What do you think about all the flights being cancelled at Agatwick today? Wow. On the flight, off the flight. Yeah, so this is a bit of a mess, to be honest. 500 flights have been cancelled out of London. There's no flights up until God knows when. Absolutely stuck for ideas. Can't drive. Don't have a vehicle. Just going to have to wait it out. Hopefully we can find a flight that gets to to France and Toulouse, then Ludenville before practice starts. Otherwise, we're gonna be doing some blind racing. Three trains there, one canceled flight. It's seven o'clock, should be in Ludenville by now, but we're going to stay the night in London. You sound like you're from London. Here's the setup. Okay, so it's uh, 23, 27. Been traveling since 5 a.m. The, the gals are kept down for the night. Um, like to sleep, but it's flipping. Very bright. It's 3 a.m. People are queuing. What? Bit of a rough night, to be honest. It's 8.35 in the morning of Tuesday. Still in London. Stansted. I think this um, air traffic control problem was uh, pretty substantial to be honest. Um, so it's caused some pretty chaotic vibes. My new flight is at half one. So praying, hoping, really counting on that going ahead. Otherwise, I don't think I'm gonna be in Ludoville. Can't believe we're moving. Let's go! Woo. 152, we're getting on a plane. Let's go. Come on, get out of the I can't believe it, but we finally made it to Ludonville. Glorious view. Yeah, a bit of a mission the last few days. Took 29 hours to get here, door to door. Um, should have taken about five, but that's life. Um, just going for a spin, sign on day, practice starts tomorrow, staying with Polly and Jake, like I said already, uh, and yeah, feeling good, check this out. Just got some spectators for some intervals. Gal. Okay, we're on a bit of a past again type thing. And Jake, thoughts and feelings for the weekend? Yeah, I'm sick. <laughs> you heard it here first, folks. What about you, Polly? I can't wait. 
Yeah. You're as being a goddess as ever. I'm frothing so hard. Wow, I'm frothing. Ooh. Morning, mate. Good morning, Bully. Hey. Hey. Been a bit of a jumbled two days getting here, getting everything set up. So I've definitely felt, I don't know, not stressed, but just short on time. Although I've not had much time riding and trading between work since the last block, I'm feeling really good for this weekend. Uh, I think that it'll be pretty easy to get stuck in and enjoy. It's probably the first race this year that I've gone into it. I'm really happy with my bike setup. So for me, that's like already a huge boost. So yeah, spinning with the crew and get to practice the whole course today. It's like 1300 meters climbing, but we're gonna have shuttles and stuff. So it's gonna be a pretty chill day, ride some sick trails. Wow, look at that. <whistles> Are you feeling it? I'm actually feeling it, it's sick. It's looking good, bro. It's looking good. It's not raining yet, so that's a bonus. Wow. Terrified of dropping my phone. But uh, we're headed up on the big Gandhi chairlift to the top of the mountain. Two stages here, long ones, have some lunch, and then head over the other side of the valley. Over there somewhere for the rest of them. But, uh, it's gonna be a sick one. Good and boys. Yeah, you too much. Oh. Sick, dude. It's gonna be scary. Oh, wow. That's gonna be hectic fast. Hey! <laughs> Let's go! That's pretty shit, guys. <laughs> Regain my thoughts after that little sketchy escapade. Now around this little peachy climb. Wow.
No. Ah, uh, yeah. <sighs> All right, I'm gonna have to regain my thoughts this afternoon a little bit. <sighs> Just chill your beans, we man. <clears throat> Hurt my thumb a little bit. Mamma mia! Okay, um, practice. Finito. Yeah, that like overcooked right kind of threw me off for the rest of the day, unfortunately. Crashed again afterwards, but um, don't think we're riding bad. It's just like 
super icy, even though it's been roasting hot all day. Hopefully tomorrow it does dry up a little bit. I'm gonna change tires. I'm gonna change tires. Just DHR2 on the back. Yeah. I couldn't slow down at all. That guy's sick in the turns, but then I'm just like. Yeah. Yeah. You've got a mustache. Got a mustache. I know. Get out some food, clean my bike, change tire, and then start cracking on the GoPros, eh? Standard procedure. Polly? Thoughts and feelings? It's gonna be a pretty big day tomorrow, I think. You think? I don't know. They're quite physical tracks, like on that car, off the body. Ooh, bit of a tire change this evening. Oh. Uh, DHR2 is going back on because I could not slow down today, believe it or not. That's the car on the rear was hooking in the turns, but yeah. Braking was not so good because it's super steep. Cush core in the back, as always. Ask guy to DHR2. Downhill casing. What tires you run, Jake? Ask guy DHR. Axe. Yeah, see? Downhill front and rear. Nice for yeah. Man knows what's up. Oh, oh no. Holy oh, good life. Good life. Uh, Have a good day today, Polly. Can't wait to see you on the podium. Just had some brekkie. <laughs> Let's go! So, got some feelings for the day. It's gonna be quite hot. 28 degrees, apparently. Mm. Um, very physical, my hands hurt already, same for Jake. Um, the trails were mint, they're going to be probably better than they ever have been for us anyway. Um, just going to have to get stuck in I think. The hand hurting dilemma is inevitable. It's not real. Polly! You're my favorite. <laughs> Let's go. What? Ah, of Team TVB out for a spin before Ludonville finals. Gonna be a big one. Day four, it. Wolfie just gave us a quote of the day. <laughs> I'm already getting arm pumped, <laughs> and I've no idea how I'm gonna get down many of these stages. Yeah, true. <laughs> go on, Brendan. So it's touch and go then on the slowest bus I've ever been on to get up to the push for stage one. And um, it's hot already, so. Game plan for the day is hydrate, 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 stay on top of the food, uh, try and save the hands as much as possible on the longer ones. Push in up to here. There he is. All right, one done. It's hot out. Uh, rode good there. Felt like pacing it good, pushed hard. Didn't make any major mistakes, but like made a couple of small ones all the way down the track. So kind of means that like you're on the right side of the limit. Stoked. So, uh, two stages done. That second one 
was pretty good as well. I completely fumbled the top. Um, I think because I didn't really have a clear view when I was following Jake, so that's a good lesson. Is like give yourself some space when you're when you're riding and practicing so that you can see the GoPros in the back. Um, good learn. Uh, push hard. I don't think I'm in the top 20, unfortunately, like I was the first stage. Uh, but that's life. I'm pretty happy with the bike. Feel is good. Tires are sick. Trails are unreal. So uh, gonna have some more food. Stick to the plan uh, and keep on cracking. I'm having a good day. It's nice. So that was stage three done. Oh man, that's probably one of the most fun tracks I've ridden in years. So tapped. And the bottom in the grass that like you could push so hard. Like I've not I've not attacked top to bottom that hard in quite a while. Um felt good. Felt good to be alive again. Just had a dip in the river, it was amazing. I got some caffeine. Okay, big liaison coming up. How do you feel? Uh, good. Good for now. <laughs> Just out here pedaling. Still. Views for days. <laughs> yes! Wow! That was past me looking out for future me. Not a Red Bull, but it'll do. Oh, you look great, to be honest. Yeah, no, you cannot put this in. Yeah, this is going in. So me and Polly both had pretty good days. Polly was by far the most consistent rider of the day, out of us three. What are you finished? 15. Boom. Unreal, amazing job, congratulations. Me, not so good. I think I was 20 <coughs> and then 28 and then started to slip back and then had to crash on stage five but now it's the top 30 and i actually had so much fun riding my bike it was kind of it was nice. sick yeah. so i'm feeling great yeah good and we didn't get rained on so no. all smiles can't wait for jake's interview how was it good no he's definitely not gonna be happy bad <laughs> more like that oh la la okay it's the day after um Bit of a recap on yesterday's race, I guess. I am pretty happy with 30th, considering um, the amount of time I've had to prep for this block of races, not to make excuses. Yeah, just nice to have like a fairly consistent, solid result. It's not groundbreaking by any means, I know, and it's not, again, not quite the goals result wise that I set but having a lot of positives to take away from the weekend such as like I was really happy with my fueling strategy eating got my electrolytes dialed like didn't cramp once which has been a bit of a struggle for me in the past so that was all meant um, and I'm healthy and motivated and I'm spinning today and feeling strong so like sets me up in good stead for the for Chatel in two weeks. I'm racing Swiss Enduro race next weekend, hopefully. Um, I'm gonna have a week's holiday, visiting some friends and just riding and chilling. And it's not gonna be a rest week by any means, but uh, looking forward to just decompressing and actually enjoying being out here and not having the stress of a race series to be concentrating on. I think it's going to be really, really positive for, for where I'm at with my riding and racing and life. So I thanks very much for watching everybody. It's been a great pleasure to put another one of these out. If you've got any questions, throw them in the comments. Uh, well stoked that you guys do get involved in the comments and ask genuine questions. Um, and I'll do my best to get back to all of you as soon as possible. Uh, respecto. See you in a bit.